Alright guys and welcome back to The Witcher 3 The Blood and Wine DLC So I decided I was going to come back We're going to try and help Siana, But we have to meet In the Whoa Holy crap Just Thank you Regis God he made me jump out of my skin Good God Locked of course. Regis, I'd rather not have a fist fight with this door. Would you mind? Oh, I like that. You see? Perfect breaking and entering. Steal all your stuff. Thanks. Thank At you very service. much. At my service. All right, don't take the piss. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm, utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Yeah, yeah, we will, we will. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the series, and of course you don't want it to end, leave a like on the video, of course. Right, let's have a look around. What happened here? A rocking horse. A tea party of some kind. Miniature tableware and plush toys. Cute. Cute. Geralt, what? Who are you and what have you done with Geralt? A journal. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Ooh, all right then. So, sit down, relax, and let's listen to this story. Siana gave me a drawing. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. And perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rieta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rieta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labelled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Now, I don't I don't like to break the immersion here. But why is both Geralt and Regis's hair blowing in the wind? They're indoors. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Forget that. Forget that. I never mentioned it. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa. Who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. <laughs> cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. <laughs> the girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. I like the sound of this. Oh, please tell me we can read this book. His Grace and uh, His Grace the Duke expressed, con uh, expressed concern for his daughters. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Okay, last one. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. 
Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bloda is damned, or cursed. What's Cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the <laughs> crotch. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, I hope they didn't kiss their mother with that mouth. Mm, realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Strange that. that we've known Where's her as Anna Henrietta, but that book was referring to her as like Anna Rienet or something like that. A, a different name? Anyway, we're looking for a book. We're looking for a book. They, uh, mm, okay, that's not a book. Just more toys. Locked. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's grunt our way through this. Get just Regis, right? You are getting on my nerves. You're as bad as Roach at the moment. Okay, what about this painting? Well, well, a key tucked behind a picture. Ah, there we go. Ye ask and ye shall receive. What have we got here? Oh, no working mirrors. Disappointing. As some of you are. Uh, Followers of my channel, I know that is a big thing for me. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. All right, I think all these other red highlighted objects are, are literally red herrings. Aha! Uh -huh. huh. Is it? Let's see. The man who has the strength to bring down dragons can just about barely open a book. Expecto Ludum. Regis? What Regis. the hell? I mean, wow. What a land what a great a looking thousand fables. Oh, it's the land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Wait a minute. They hmm. mentioned earlier on. Let's see where this road takes me. They played with Thumbelina. Are we, are we in like fairyland? Oh my god! Follow the yellow brick road! Oh, this is brilliant! I have Nahelene's going wild. All land's an illusion. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. This is brilliant! Look at this place! Oh man, all these mushrooms, you could get so high! Okay, it's telling me to go follow the yellow brick road, but the, the white dots are leading me elsewhere. I think I shall ignore them. Brick Road is quite clearly this way. Uh oh. Wait, what? An arch spool. These things. Bloody hell, these things, I thought. How do they get inside this work? Right. St oh my god, would you stop it? You absolute dick. Right, I'm about to die. I need, I need my dried fruit and nuts. I don't need my nuts drying, of course. That would be terrible. Oh god. I'm pressing R1 for dodge. This is the trouble of playing multiple games. What an absolute... Damn it. And this is a playground for two little girls? Something's not right. Yeah, yeah, agreed. But who's this line on the ground? Is it Tweedledum or D? A poisoned apple. Oh, is that one of the seven dwarves? From Snow White. She she bit a poisoned apple, didn't she? 
Well, they're really enough to give me loot. I presume I can keep. Oh, that was a little bit close. I think I'd better, if I can, if I can meditate in Fairyland, I will. We cannot do that now. But it has given me full health just going into the menu. That's kind of cool. This place is amazing. Bloody hell, mm. let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> <laughs> this is the gingerbread house! Oh my god, there's a witch! Hansel and Gretel! Must be. If my memory serves me well. And bear in mind, my childhood was probably a lot longer ago than many of you watching. Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it. Do you see the nose on her? Oh my god. <laughs> now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice, and you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. Oh god, this is horrible. I'm gonna have nightmares. Oh, that laugh. <laughs> How do I get her down from there? Oh, I've got to kill the plants. Oh, god damn. Damn, you're ugly. Damn, you're ugly, Geralt. Come on. There's no need for that. There's no need. Right, get on the ground, evil wench. Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool. How do I get her out of the bubble in the air? Alright, I'm gonna have to coin up. What do I do? Do I shoot the bubble? Let me let me arm the the crossbow. See if that does the trick. Where are you? Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, this is having no effect whatsoever. I can't burst her bubble. How do I get her down? Oh, that works. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. She's just... Okay, she's just attached the broom. That's fine, at least we know how to get her out of the bubble. Flames work. There may be something else that works as well. But I'll stick with this. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on. Summoning... What is that? A panther made out of custard? This is so bizarre! What a game am I playing? There we go. Finally. What an evil wench. What what the hell was that? Yeah, exactly. The wicked witch. Well, you've heard of her, haven't you? Now where did you put that key? Listen, I how'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. Prince Charming. Whoa! me for certain if you'd not Sienna is that you it's been years Jack oh Jack what have you come to play no I just want your beans so you can e breathe easy. excuse me this has gone to all kinds of inappropriate levels I'm not sure I can continue beans what beans <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna make Geralt say something like this beans what beans? Magic beans, of Try course. Not to interrupt. Well, Jack, where are they? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but but I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all. Hmm. This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. 
I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. So that's Jack from the Giant Beanstalk story. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? And we had the Gingerbread Witch. I am... I think we've got a, a lot of mixed fables and stories here. This is awesome. Um, I came to free you. This is true. I uh, came to look for my lost child. Don't be sarcastic, Geralt. Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Deadlof. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlof, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadlof, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadlof was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Okay, I'm so confused. Right, this place, you got to tell me more. Uh, what else have we got here? Those dead left killed. What did they do to you? Oh, yeah, well, I suppose we really want to get down to the motive of this whole thing. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Duak, Lacroix, Perak Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm-hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulak had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Hmm. Interesting. Is it an excuse for what you did, or it explains a lot? We'll, we'll go with the benefit of the doubt right now. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Okay, so tell me about this. Oh no, what is this? They exiled you because of the curse of the Black Sun. Anyway, look. Just tell me about this place, and then we'll get onto the beans. This place. Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Okay, at least I understand one thing now. They've shortened Anna Anna Henrietta's name here to Anna Rietta. Okay, I think that's what that was. I can relax now. That was bugging me. So what's with these beans? Don't tell me. We sold a cow for them and we've now got to plant them in the ground and go up into the sky and kill a giant? So... What's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. 
She oh. made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Got it. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle. Yep. High up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Now, I don't really remember it being different colored beans. I just remember them being called magic beans. But there was definitely more than one. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. Wait a sec, did you see that? I think I just picked up a cookie. <laughs> All right, let's go, Sienna. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed, a massacre, which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret, time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed. Oh, wow. I see we're still following the yellow brick road. Are we going to end up meeting... Dorothy? Watch out! Pixies! Oh, God, pixies, no! Oh, God, they are actually... Okay, they are actually dangerous. Um, let's see if we can reveal them with a bit of... Oh, I, oh, oh no, it doesn't work. They're like, uh, what you... Oh, what are those... Creatures that come out of the mist? I've forgotten their names. Okay, but we're good, we're good, we're good. I think we've... Not we've the pixelated them. <laughs> they were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. <laughs> meaning you. Oh, look at that tower. Oh, no, 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 no. First thought that came into my head when I saw that was Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, oh, let unicorns. down your long hair. We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. Roach is a unicorn. <gasps> Roach, you beautiful creature. Exciting, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. My childhood. I'm just Reminds glad you're not the pink something one. Something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. I can't believe I'm riding a unicorn. None at all. This is real. This is grand. I'm all right. Not in any danger. That's him. All right, I better get off. I think Roach is about to kick me off. Yeah, Roach, can you just... Thank you very much. Just drop me off in the back. Oh, my arm has been damaged. And my sword. Oh, God, no. Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, Jesus. Right, and this is my silver sword, of course. I'm really struggling here. Right, I've got to do a repair job. Oh, wait a sec. Cutscene alert. Relax, it's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Oh, Ignore the boy him. who he cried wolf. Aha, uh -huh. boy who cried wolf. Brilliant. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing, and besides, watch out! Woops! <laughs> They're actually going to appear in a minute, aren't they? The red bean, what happened to it? Do you know where the blue bean is? Let's talk about yellow bean. Okay, okay. All very good ingredients. This will be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh, no, definitely not that. I of see. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Okay. So, I understand what they're doing here. Making him lie. So, uh, a humanist human. Would that not be Siana herself? Maybe Geralt. All right, know where the blue, know where the blue bean is, or not? Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe, not at all. Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that, no one guarding it. Nobody. Three times over. Right, he's lying. Help! So it's not in the open, and it's and it's being guarded. 
So we've got to get into a cave for the blue bean or something like that. All right, yellow bean. Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. Right, so it's on and the ground. who has it? Hmm? A bald farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? Well, that's it. I think we've got all the information we're not going to get out of him. All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Wait a or minute. more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, uh, fine. Longlocks? Let's get to work. Longlocks, is that, like I said earlier, Rapunzel? Level 51 in Fairyland. Look at the rainbow. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Okay, right, 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 right. Let me, let me concentrate on repairage. Uh, god damn, I wonder if I've got... Thank god I brought some spare swords though, because... I, I have not been able to get to a smith or a vendor since... God, when? Like, three episodes ago? And we got to perform some urgent surgery. Uh, that was 90%, this is 42, so that'll get it up to... I think that gets it up to 80. Yeah, 82. So we're good for a little while. It's not completely done, it's just once it gets down below 50%, it seems to do less damage. Now, armor, I've got plenty of repair stuff. Four. So let's just use up a whole one. Okay. Anything else need repairing? That's 93, 95, 92. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Oh, I see. There's plenty of places on the map here. Hold on a second. Oh, I don't have a map here. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Um, Roach, uh, should I? Come you find, I was going to say stallion there, you find unicorn, you're still in fairyland. You p Move perform it. just as well as you do in real land. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave them. Find the three magic beams. We've got to, we've got to, oh, here we go. Who's this? The little flint girl. Care for a cigarillo? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tail are you from? I just saw Puss in Boots. Flints when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweetie? Say? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Oh, she's cold. Um, okay, what's the deal with the ribbon? Yeah, I need to ask, what, what, why, what's the big deal? The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from Aturius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Wow, Roaches, look at those boots, that's so cool! 
I can't, I honestly, I know I sound like a child most of the time I play these games. I'm so full of excitement, but this is really beautifully done. And there's gorgeous Roach with the long flowing hair in the background looking majestic. Look at you, you beautiful creature. I suppose we have to persuade this girl to give us the ribbon. If she'd been, if Sian had been wearing the ribbon, maybe none of this would have happened with Detlef. Give Sianna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum, the only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Oh, excellent idea. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I can buy it though. Oh, for 500 coins, that's not much. A game of cards would be a lot more fun. All right, let's do it. All right, let's play. If Yay! You, lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. Oh, this should be interesting. Now I am going to have to stick with my regular deck here. The Northern Realms has never let me down. Well, it has a couple of times. That's a gross exaggeration. But it shouldn't let me down. Let's get going. So for those of you that don't like Gwent, just skip forward a couple of minutes. It'll all be over. For those of you that love it and love watching somebody make mistakes, stick around. All right, what do we got? A decoy, Scorch, Commander's Horn, Dandelion is very useful if I've got a good front row. We've got a couple of spy cards here. Okay, this is a good opening set. I will stick with you. Let's go. Right, let's lay down the spies. Interesting, the Scoia'tael deck. It's always a bit unpredictable, the Scoia'tael deck. I never really know how to play against it. Well, there we go, another spy card drawn out there. Oh, she used a weather card in the first round. What's going on? She said none can best her, and she just made a fatal mistake. Now I get all my spy cards, and I only give her a single point each. Oh, apart from this one. Oh, but it's a single point anyway. It's good. Okay, I think we're going to be all right here. Although I shouldn't get too excited. Another spy card has arrived for zero points. Okay, right. So I pick up my two free cards from this one. That's probably the last I'll get. She has not got decoys, so he's not calling any of those in. Well, she's down to six cards, but 17 points. Now, I could destroy those two sixes. Let's do that and see what happens next. For only five points here. And she's down to five cards. This could be a bit of a walkover. I hate to break it to her, but she's going to be bested. This cannot be affected by the weather, so I'll stick it down. She's going to have to keep playing. A clear weather card. Oh, you tricky son of a gun. All right, but she's only got four cards left. I mean, all right, tell you what. Let's let's give her this round. Uh, I don't think I can decoy special cards, can I? No, I can't. So, I'm going to give her this have the first round let her think she's winning but with four cards left two rounds to play it ain't happening little lady let's go i'm surprised i haven't drawn more of these two because i've got like six of them in my deck uh oh the siri card well i tell you what see siri match with Geralt, and i will bring to you a roach there it is Okay. What else have you got in your box of tricks? Ah, oh, that's quite decent. But, but not that good. You only got a ri you only got rid of a three scoring card. Okay. Let's bring out the specials. Can be unaffected here. I'm going to definitely win this round. And the last one is a given. I'm not going to spend any more cards here. I'm just going to take the round and play the third. Okay, 
Okay, decoys are kind of pointless now. Alright, uh, let's lay down something in the front row. Oh, you are holding back a 10 score. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get Dandelion down there and double that up. See a 10? Match your 10. And in a minute, I'm going to raise you. She's passed on the final round. That means I've only got to play one card to beat this lady. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. It's going to be John Natalis. No idea who this fella is, by the way. I'm sure he was in one of the previous Witcher games. Not a clue. But we've won. Game over. Rumpole, you're good at this. A word once given. The ribbon's yours. Now skedaddle. Skedaddle. Oh, that is a word that is far too much underused in English language. It's the what? What? All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Geralt has a natural propensity for being a good. So get used to it, Siana. Right, well, we have still haven't found a magic bean. Uh, but I can talk to Siana. Why, 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 why? Stop prodding me and find the beans. Oh! Oh, all right. Maybe I can't talk to you then. In that case, we move on to the next place. Watch what? out! Pixies! Yeah, Pixies and a naked man. I think we found Trevor from GTA V. I love these... love the Pixies. I, I accept... I, I mean, I'm not saying I love them. Because they're doing me damage. That's it. Oh, no. We've got one more. What is that? Is that metal clanging sound when they die? Oh, look at this. this is a miniature world. We found a miniature village. Oh. Hey, watch it. It's Thumbelina. Oh my God. Hey, watch it. I'm sure. I'll make sure I don't tread on you. I thought for a minute there we were going to be in Lilliput. This is incredible. Geralt, you giant of a man. Oh. The three little pig souls. Oh, you know the story, don't you? Oh, yes. He's afraid of the big bad wolf. One made of Looks straw. Like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. Oh, look, look over there. Inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at one this. This will be the straw house. By three nobodies. Yeah, There's the stick house. And we got the one with bricks. The only one. So all three piggies should be inside here. How do I... How do I get in? I feel like the big bad wolf trying to get in and eat the piggies. Um. Um, hello? Seriously though, how do I get in this thing? I can't knock on the door. There's nothing happening. I don't know. Can I, can I ard my way in? <gasps> oh god, it works! Oh, and the pigs, the pigs are volatile. I really don't feel good about this. That, this is really mean. We're killing the three little pigs. This is so wrong. My childhood is ruined. Show me what you got. Okay, okay. I smell bacon. Oh, I tell you what. I prefer my bacon. Oh, wait, wait. I've got to wait for it to, before I can manage to get this pathetic joke out. I've got to wait for my. There we go. I like my bacon fried. <laughs> Crispy on the outside. Oh, that's terrible. I know, but it had to be done. No pig bastard, I think you'll find. We get magic dust. Magic dust from the three little pigs. They weren't that little though, were they? And there we go. We found a blue bean. 
That's it. The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. I think Siana's uh, taking a little liking to Geralt here. Well, Geralt, it's been a while. You might as well give this a go. Is that so strange or stunted, but there? Stunted sense of humor. Stunted a bit, but yeah, it's there. Well, well, aren't you full of surprises? What else are you hiding behind that gruff exterior? Not a bad singer. Do a pretty mean rendition of the Maids of Vicovaro, for instance. But some other time, maybe. Yeah, please. Any other time. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. Oh, I sense a budding romance. So, so we've got like options. The three no, bears. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. Oh, more pixies. I'm gonna I'm just gonna run past them. They're tiring me. Three bears. Grandmama's house. Grandma's house. Was that Little Red Riding Hood? And Longlocks. Longlocks is not one I... I understand. I can't see the map, so I don't know where I'm going here. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Oh, here we go. Now, which one would this be? Recognize it? Once upon a time, a terrible dragon attacked Vizima. It took a clever young cobbler to bring about its defeat. Right. Every now and again, oh. some village idiot tries to imitate him. And <laughs> this is Grandma's house. Mess. Look, there's Grandma. My, what big teeth you have. Hello. Can we talk? Watch my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. <laughs> but, 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 what brings you? Well, I like this. Got a strong French accent, this uh, grandma, quote unquote. Uh, have a drink with us, yeah. You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question. And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. This is this is so bizarre. Honestly, this episode... I think I'm tripping. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her claws. <gasps> no. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter, which means we can't play. And I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. <laughs> That's got to be my favorite character in the entire Witcher series. <laughs> the comical, over exaggerated French accent is especially beautifully done. That's one, that's one prickly wolf, yeah. Hmm, wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I do. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So, what now? Don't worry. 
I'll play with him. No, or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. I feel a little picked on now. I'm not a little pig ton. <laughs> All right, time to jump in the well. Break a leg. That's what you say to actors. Okay, so we've got the hunter who, uh, uh, in the in the story, killed the wolf. Right? There's the hood. Anything else? Any other loot? Anything at all? I I owe it to myself to check. Why is there a passage if there's nothing else to look at? Hold on a second. Okay, Garrett, you better speed up a little bit, my friend. My friend, you better speed up a little. Alright, there was absolutely no reason to be here. Oh, oh no, there is. Right, let's do this before we drown. Yep, we're about to drown. Well, that was disappointing. No, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay. All is well. Right, Sienna. I've got your hood. <gasps> What's that? Any luck? Yep. There was Looks a cockerel like on a cat, on a dog, on that a horse. That would never fit you. Give it to me. What How is that I from? Look? Oh, you look beautiful. Okay. Uh, not, not, not bad, not bad at all. I don't know much about fashion or so-so. You, you never say that to a lady. You never say this to a lady either. So, a compliment is always forthcoming. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. Don't I need a chopper? Well... <laughs> you again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if Little Red Riding Hood is not with you! Can you not see her standing right next to me? Not a problem. Sianna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <coughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. <laughs> but, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. They're better to see you, with my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. They're better to embrace you, with my dear. And, Grandmama, what Big teeth you have, eh? The better to eat you is, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> He's really throwing himself into What's it. My God! All right, I can't believe I'm fighting the big bad wolf. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, I need. Oh, thankfully, thankfully, Red Riding Hood is not too shabby in a fight. I, I am I am doing terribly in this magical world. Ugh, I'm going back in. Fierce. Going back in. Seem to have taken a little poison. Oh come on! Right, I need to see this. Oh, that's not a good angle. Get back out here. Get back out here. Red, please. Please, lure it over here. Now, there we go. I want to see you. That's just... <laughs> that is the best. My, my, my Come grandma. On. Oh god, I just realized. Look at my health. It's so quick. It's gone down so quickly. I shall butcher you. All right, it's done. We got a bestiary entry for the big bad wolf. Remember what Joss said about the red bean? A human has it, 
And he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. My, okay. what big feet it has. Look at those. A corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Uh, well, I know, of course I'm interested, but mind you, Geralt took a potion. Look at the state of his face. <laughs> it looks really horrible. It's like he's half dead. Uh, all right, tell me what happened. You're just less interesting than you think. Oh my god. No. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone. Without a copper. In a torn lace dress. Right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazir, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Yeah, uh, maybe you should have stayed there. No, let's just, just, just skip. Let's just cut to the... You've been through a lot been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. <laughs> she wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Well, we had two beans out of three down. Which sounds like a crossword puzzle, doesn't it? Only one bean to go. Concentrate, Geralt. All right, guys, I'm going to... Oh, you're going to hate me. You probably want to see a conclusion to this, don't you? And you will. But you're going to have to wait for the next part. I've got to go. It's been... A, uh, I'm a bit tight on time tonight. Thank you so much for watching this one. And uh, do leave a like. Even if you didn't like the video. Because you need to give a like to the game, to be fair. All the very best. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Good night.